natural disaster becomes a national crisis. Tonight, devastating floods continue to rampage through Queensland towns. Our reporters are standing by with the very latest on the victims and those still missing. This is a special broadcast of Nine News with Peter Overton live from Brisbane. Good evening. We're here in Brisbane where a real disaster is unfolding and the scale is just staggering. Nine people are now confirmed dead. At least four of them are children. Another 66 people are missing. Dozens of towns are affected. And now 32 suburbs of Brisbane are beginning to go under or are on high alert. We have reports from the worst hit areas including Dalby, Toowoomba, Grafton in New South Wales, Ipswich and of course Brisbane. As we've mentioned, the disaster has now spread across an incredibly large part of Queensland, but it all began in Toowoomba. That's where that powerful flash flood wreaked havoc as it ripped the heart out of the, set, uh, the centre of that city yesterday afternoon. I'm so glad A deadly torrent. That's coming fast. Showing no mercy, the eight metre high wall of water surged through Toowoomba. No. Oh, no. You got it? Yeah. Oh. oh, my goodness. Taking cars. Oh, is there someone in this? A water tank. This four-wheel drive rode the muddy wave. Go, go, buddy, go! Then disappeared under the water. Most people left nature to its destructive course. Don't, oh mate, don't, don't, just let it go. Others risked their lives to move vehicles to safety. That is unbelievable. It took just minutes for the damage to be done. Cars like dominoes under the extreme force. Locals giving their own account as the disaster unfolded right before their eyes. And we've just narrowly missed an incredible flash flood here that we're not sure where it's come from. It's just incredible. And nothing was safe. Oh, no! Look, look. There's a container. There goes the container. That's going to cause a bit of damage when I hit something. A mother and her child were found dead in their car after the water surged through the CBD, and there are many, many more missing. Given the circumstances, we hold very grave concerns for many of those people who are unaccounted for in this region. Authorities had no warning. The freak wave was on its way. I've never seen anything uh, like that amount of water rise so rapidly. Uh, you know, I've lived myself uh, before on the banks of a creek, but I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, I've, I've lived here since 76 and I've never seen water like that before. It was quite horrific. I've... The cars may as well have been like kids' toys in a bathtub. I've just never seen anything move like that. The torrent left so much destruction. Battered cars piled on top of one another. This road sliced in two. Livestock has been stranded, houses ripped apart. Businesses left to save whatever they can. The wall of this home was taken by the water, leaving a bedroom exposed. Even heavy vehicles weren't spared. And tonight, a city of 90,000 people is on edge. I'm still shaking. <laughs> I'm still in shock, I think. Uh, it happened so quickly. Downhill from Toowoomba, the people of Withcott had a few minutes warning. The water was on its way. Within two hours, it had passed, leaving a tiny town suffering. It's the third time it's been flooded in three weeks. This weather, I think, is, um, it might be breaking our hearts at the moment, but it will not break our will. And Davina is now in the township of Warwick, which is about an hour south of Toowoomba. And Davina, they haven't experienced the brute force of those flash floods in, War in Warwick, but a new emergency is unfolding. Yeah, very much so, Peter. Behind me is the Condamine River and it is rising very, very rapidly. We were here a few hours ago. Those homes behind me were high and dry and now they are very fast being inundated with water. We arrived in town around 10.30 this morning. We were the very last car to be allowed into this city. Every road, every bridge around it has now been cut and the town has now been cut into two, making matters even harder for emergency services. Three weeks ago, Warwick flooded. It had a little bit of room to take that 
water back there. Now, though, the ground is saturated and emergency services aren't really sure how high the Condamine River is going to peak tonight. Potentially 10 metres, maybe more so. And if it does, at least 150 homes are going to be inundated. Many, many businesses are going to be affected. The situation is critical across several other towns across the Darling Downs. Murphy's Creek is a little town just down the range from Toowoomba. It copped a lot of that water yesterday afternoon and communication into that area is very, very hard at the moment. It's hard to know what's going on. Laidley is halfway between Toowoomba and Brisbane. We know at around 9.30 this morning the river there peaked, busted its banks, the town was inundated with water and residents were basically forced to flee to higher ground. Oakey is an area where my family live nearby. They're safe and well at the moment but a number of other families have been forced to flee to their homes, flee from their homes this afternoon, evacuated from on top of their rooftops. Pete, it's a critical situation tonight and it is so sad to see so many families facing this heartbreak. And we're thinking of those families tonight and in the days to come. Davina, thank you.